Hi guys, postman's been, in fact he's been several days running. I've been stockpiling these. There's even a bit of charity shop stuff underneath all this that we'll talk about as well. So, what's in the bags? Well this one actually says HV1 high voltage igniter. I spotted this on eBay. I really can't imagine why I decided to buy it. Uh, probably because it's an electrical kit that was very cheap. Um, I don't put direct links in the video description anymore, just in case somebody thinks I'm getting some sort of payment from the seller, and I'm not. So all I'll do is put the description of the item that I bought, and then you can cut and paste that and stick that into your uh, online store of choice and see if it brings up the same item. Right, so what we've got in the bag, not a lot. I imagine this is very similar to those um, tennis racket things for swatting flies. It's going to put off a high voltage spark. Although this one, as it says, is an igniter, so you should be able to use it to light your gas ring or something like that. Not much to it. Um, there's a black box type thing there that does something. Capacitor, push switch, MOSFET, uh, termination block, resistor, diode. Well, that's about it actually. A couple of nuts and bolts. So I just think it's that sort of black box thing that does the work. So, yep, yeah, got that on eBay. I'll put it together at some time. Next. Another little box, flashlight, DIY kit. This made me smile. Um, it must be basically um, a jewel thief. All right, gonna have to open it to see what's inside. Because it's a flashlight. that runs off of a one and a half volt battery. Okay, what have we got? We've got a nice big fat LED there. Uh, we've got a transistor. Um, I was going to say coil. Um, uh, I've forgotten what they're called now. Choke. Um, Whatever. Push switch, some resistors, oh, red button for the push switch. Not a lot, but as I say, I think it's basically a jewel thief, and that's what caught my eye. Ooh. Oh, that's where the. <laughs> All of a sudden, I thought there's going to be hundreds of resistors to solder in there, but no, that's where the battery goes across there. So it uses a AAA battery, single AAA battery, but it lights an LED. And obviously you can't light an LED directly off one and a half volt battery. So I just thought that would be an interesting little kit to put together. And I'm sure that there's several people who are far more experienced than me who will say, oh yeah, that's a jewel thief, or one of those other clever little circuits that generates um, more voltage out of one and a half volts. So, say so not, not many components there, so that should be fairly easy to put together. All right, this one is from Yo Valley Farms. It's some more shopping bags, because I collect their yokins, as they call them, tokens. Oh, nearly cutting through the important bit there. That wasn't very clever. Oh, cut halfway through the strap. Oh, dear. 
That wasn't a good start, was it? But there we are. They're just rather nice bags. They're made from recycled plastic. Tell us. Genuine eco bags made in China from recycled plastic bottles. Yeah, so quite happy to get them. Cost me absolutely nothing. Uh, in fact, the tokens that I collect, they're quite often ones given to me by other people. So it cost me absolutely nothing. Right, now Amazon. Caution contains lithium ion battery. Yeah, okay. Oh, I think we can open this here, can't we? There's a lot of people who are getting quite upset with Amazon. I'm not going to talk about the politics, but I'm sure a lot of the people who get upset with Amazon are actually still ordering stuff from Amazon because it's cheap. But what have I got? I've got myself another one of those action cameras because I bought one a few months ago and I'm really pleased with it. Pleased enough to actually buy a second one. Relatively cheap. Um, I don't actually remember how much it was. 30 or 40 quid. 4K Ultra HD splash proof remote. Waterproof to 30 meters. That's in the case. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi so you can potentially use it for um, FPV but I've tried that and it doesn't really work like that but certainly you can set it up to look at something out in the garden and view it in on your mobile phone from a distance away I also ordered myself another 64k memory card to go with it so that means that when I'm filming my cars or boats I can have the action camera on the boat doing the video of what it's doing and I can have one on my hat so my hat camera is the same quality. Much better than the really cheap ones I got from eBay years ago. So that's the um, post bag. Now we've got a few items here that I've picked up in charity shops that I'll just show rather than doing a separate video. So. I've already done one of these, kept it in the back of the car for ages and then one day we were out with my grandson and he wanted something to do and it was perfect. We sat on the park bench, put it together and flew it. So when I saw another one for 75p I thought I'd have it. A woodcraft construction kit. I've been doing some of these recently. I like doing them, especially on a rainy day. You can sit there and put them together. They only take half an hour or something like that. Heinknoll HE51 according to the label. So we'll do that at some time. And then here, oh, did I say that was a pound? And here we've got D210 Walking T-Rex Walking and Roaring so it's a wooden clip together kit but it's also got an electric motor in it that's activated by sounds um, I picked one up ready made in a charity shop in fact I'll go and grab it there we are as if by magic this one's a Stegosaurus it was ready made in a charity shop. Can't remember how much I paid for it, but I looked at it, saw it got the electric motor and remote control in it, and thought it was worth buying. <laughs> we should stop after a minute. There we go, and then if we make a noise, it should start again.
Yeah. So, this is the same um, type of kit. Obviously this one's a T-Rex instead of a Stegosaurus. But for £2 I thought, I've got to buy it. It's well worth £2. It's worth quite a bit more than that if you look them up. So, it looks, looks brand new unused. I haven't even checked. I suppose I'll do that. Can we get the box open? Yep, completely unused. And there's our remote control, sound activated remote control and geared motor. Very pleased with that. For two pounds. You wouldn't get that for two pounds anywhere in a shop. No idea when I'll get around to doing that. I'll probably be a rotten granddad and keep it for myself. I don't think I'm going to give that one to one of my grandsons to do. That's one for me. Maybe on my next summer holiday or maybe in the winter when it's cold and miserable very pleased with that two pounds 85 pieces level three out of five assembled size 315 by 120 by 225 millimeters yeah so that's it uh, Grandad's post bag and a bit of charity shop added on the end. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.